Welcome to Kimona Therapy. If you've been struggling to connect with your higher self, you're not alone. Uh, many people face challenges in tuning with their inner wisdom. And this week, I want to share a couple powerful tools that are going to assist you in connecting with your higher self and trusting your intuition. And sometimes the higher self, when we want to connect with our higher self, it can feel like something uncertain. It can feel like something illusory. And sometimes we actually doubt our own inner wisdom or that inner voice that guides us on our journey. And so I'm sure you've heard an inner voice that you're like, where is this coming from? It, it's, it is a part of your higher self. So this week, I want to share a couple of powerful tools with you that are going to assist you to connect with your higher self. Now, what you need to understand is that what I'm about to share with you are what I will call divination tools. And they are just tools to assist you in connecting with your higher self. So there's multiple ways to do that, but I'm just going to share a few basic tools that you can use to connect more strongly with your higher self. If you are wanting to connect and not sure how to actually do it. So this is from years of my own experience and learning. I share this with my clients as well, because more often than not, we have a tendency to not trust our inner wisdom. We have a tendency to not trust our intuition. And it's like, is that really where I'm supposed to go or what I'm supposed to be doing? Like what, what, what is this voice that I'm hearing or a download of being guided? Like, you know, turn left or turn right, or don't like take, don't, don't get in your car just yet. Like all these, it's your higher self communicating. So the, the first tool that I'm going to share with you and you're you're probably going to want to go out and get one is you're going to want to use a pendulum so i have a pendulum i actually have two i use one on my clients when they're laying over there to check their chakras but i also have one for my own personal use and this is a wooden one that i was drawn to and now what you want to do is you want to set a clear intention when you are using a particular divination tool by saying a quick little prayer and I want to connect with my higher self. And then what you want to end up doing when you start that is you want to calibrate your pendulum by asking specific questions. So like first off, I'm connecting with my higher self and I'm going to ask, please show me yes. Now you'll see my hand's not moving and it's going counterclockwise. Show me my no. You see how quick that flipped? When you first get into it, your, your tool might not go like as strongly, but the more you work with it, the more you're going to, um, it's going to get stronger. So you want to calibrate it. Then you want to ask for guidance and you can ask yes, no questions. Now I don't have my book in front of me, but I actually have a pendulum book. I'm getting hooked here. And there's different charts that I can ask, whether it be about my health or whether it be about if I've lost an object where it might be. So definitely using a pendulum is going to assist you in connecting and tapping into your higher self. And what you want to do is you want to trust the process when you're using a, a pendulum, a tool like that, because it's going to amplify your subconscious. All right. So trust the responses. You might also get responses that you didn't actually think you were going to get, or you might get a response that you really didn't want to hear. And if that's the case, take a moment, write it down, step away because our higher self that is connected to the universe and to the divine knows better than our conscious mind. All right. Cause our conscious mind likes to get in the way of stuff. Now, the second thing that you want to do, oh yeah, it, this is a bridging the gap between the physical and spiritual world. And it's helping you to align to your inner truth. I, I didn't want to miss that. Another thing that you can do is I am very much an advocate for Oracle cards. So this particular deck that I have right here, the white light Oracle, 
I have a little shelf over here in my office that clients can like pick a pick a, a, a deck. I love the white light oracle. And what I will do is I will say a little prayer. I will take a quiet moment and I will be guided what card to pick. Sometimes I'll hear pick card number five or I'll shuffle, I'll shuffle and a card goes flying out of the deck. If that happens, that is your higher self telling you that there is a message there that you need to hear. And again, I want to reiterate, sometimes it's not the message that we really want to hear, but it is the message that is needed the most. Okay. I've had that happen so many times, but then the accuracy of it later on was just consciously mind blowing. All right. So those are just two very simple tools that you can use to connect to your higher self. Um, a couple other things that you can do is automatic writing. And it's also a very powerful tool. So what you can actually do is you want to write with your non-dominant hand. So I'm left-handed. I'm a southpaw. When I do automatic writing, if there's something that is going on in my life and I'm not getting the clarity, I'll flip the pen into my opposite hand and I'll sit down and write. Now I'll tell you, it's frustrating on a physical level because we're writing, you know, you're going to look like you're back in kindergarten. Let's put it that way. But it's incredible the shift of using the opposite side of our brain. So I don't want to bombard you with too much information, but I'm saying that if you want to connect with your higher self and you're having a hard time, go out, get yourself a pendulum. If money is tight, I have seen people that use a string and even a needle. My, my mother, years ago when I was little, used to do that. She actually um, rubbed it on my wrist and other people's wrists, especially women, and to find out whether they were going to have a boy or a girl. And what was crazy was it was accurate. So if you can't afford a pendulum, if you can't afford an oracle deck of some sort, grab a string and a needle or if you have a deck of cards even that you would have to do some research like if you pulled the ace of spades there's meanings for those as well bottom line is there are tools out there for you to connect to your higher self and i wanted to share this message because a lot of people don't know how to connect we can't just sit there and okay higher self we, we need tools. We need a bridge, and those are bridges from the physical to the spiritual, all right? Thank you for taking the time this week to watch this week's message. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Hit the notification button so you continually receive my weekly messages. Just come into your box so you don't forget about it because these messages are for your healing, growth, and self-discovery, all right? Let's take a moment. This week, we're going to do the bowl. You can't see the bowl. Can you see the bowl? Can't see the ball. Let's do the ball. Take care. Namaste. See you next week. Much love.